So what impact the results of COMPASS will have on clinical care remains to be seen. The data, I think, are really quite strong in terms of benefit and net clinical benefit with a good safety profile, uh, with the caveat that in this trial, patients who are at high bleeding risk were excluded, as is typically the case with randomized clinical trials. As well, there was a run-in period where patients were on aspirin for a month in both arms, had to tolerate it. So for the patient, you know, obviously, that was having intolerance to aspirin or bleeding on aspirin, then they wouldn't have likely been enrolled into the randomized part of the trial. Patients who weren't adherent with their aspirin during that run-in phase wouldn't get into the trial either. So want to make sure it's a patient that's adherent to the therapy they're on already, uh, say aspirin, for example. Uh, and then uh, make sure that they don't have a, a history that puts them at high risk of bleeding. But assuming that that's the case and they otherwise fit the inclusion criteria for uh, COMPASS with respect to stable CAD or PAD, you know, the data are quite strong. Of course, uh, before being able to use it, it, in the U.S. will depend on what the FDA says, the 2.5 twice a day dose of rivaroxaban isn't approved for this indication. It's not even available uh, in terms of potential off-label use. So. It really is a matter of uh, the drug uh, going through the regulatory process. And if it is approved, it remains to be seen how guidelines will uh, adopt it. Uh, I suspect guidelines may view the data favorably because the trial is not in isolation. There was an ATLAS II trial performed using this same dose of rivaroxaban. Actually, both the doses were used in different arms here. That was an acute coronary syndrome or post-acute coronary syndrome trial. And in that trial, the rivaroxaban 2.5 twice a day, largely on a background of aspirin and clopidogrel, uh, also reduced ischemic events significantly. And in that trial, there was a very statistically significant reduction in all-cause mortality with event curves continuing to diverge at two years. So viewed in that light, not just as one trial, especially one trial stopped early, but rather two trials, now Atlas II and, and COMPASS, a very large study, I, I think it's a compelling story for that 2.5 twice a day dose, but it remains to be seen how the FDA feels that they did not approve the 2.5 milligram dose for ACS.